Hello and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper and let's continue. Now <clears throat> we have been in a lot of places uh, and yes there is a map for this game and uh, we have been to a lot of places such as the lighthouse, the village and a bit up here. We have some places in that area which we haven't like been to but then we have the wheat farm and uh, that we have the witch hill and we have the witch land and the swamp but then we have a bunch of other stuff up uh, to the north we have the sweet home we have the kitchen garden the morgue the old graveyard Let's take a look at known NPCs. <clears throat> now. The bishop wants 20 bowls. That's easily done. Uh, we have to wait until the next day. Uh, till when he comes back. But other than that, 20 bowls, bowls are not that hard to get. Um... We need more honey, that should be easily done. Wagner wants paper and ink. The paper should be very easy to get at this point. Uh, the woodcutter wants, uh, wants an iron axe. We have one, so let's actually bring one to him. And we go to dead horse. Let's run out up to him, the woodcutter, and give him his iron axe I made him. <clears throat> it's just north from here, he should be at least. Yeah, the teleporting uh, one, uh, teleport stone is super good. I have a much nice axe for you. I give you two recipes, pasta and lasagna. That will be all you need to keep cutting trees all day long. Vegetarian? Meat is expensive. The, the trick is in slow releasing carbs. Lentils have even better protein. <clears throat> yeah, but depending on like what kind of lentil uh, or the size of them or how you cook them uh, might be really good or it might just be trash like s not good at all i really like the and that's something new with the dlc um and the updates uh that came uh when the donkey uh, brings you a new corpse, you actually get uh, what do you call it? Uh, a pop-up icon uh, with the corpse. Uh, one thing I would say is keep it up longer. Because depending on what you're doing, you might actually miss it. Um, other than that, it plays a sound uh, when he drops something off. But if you miss those two, you don't have any more ward warnings. So keeping that one up for longer probably is probably a good thing. Like, so you can actually see stuff. Uh, the blood. Should we try to bury? Yeah, let, let, let's do that. See if we can... Uh, because every time we do, we actually... <clears throat> get a burial certificate, which... Which is money, basically. Now, I'm not super sure how much more we want to do, how much more we want to add, really.
but yeah we have one two three four five more okay uh read this area is closed due to cultist activity please address any concerns to the inquisitor okay exhumation permission is there anyone i want to like remove yeah yeah this one is bad this one is really bad um removing this gravestone like this grave this one is good how much money do we have 192 yeah exhuming a course a, a corpse is going to cost you money <clears throat> not a s like a lot of money but it is going to be like it's going to cost you money it's not you don't have a net gain from it so sadly um let's take this one and and you have to remove this um you have to remove the the mar like the two things on the grave so th this one has to go and this one has to go before you can actually click this so you have to remove the graves fence and gravestone as it says uh before and then once you actually have done that you have to buy this exhumation permission because otherwise you're not permitted to digging up the the corpse which makes sense Zoom. Yes. And then we bring it to the autopsy table and look at what we can do with this one. And depending on how it goes and how it looks, we might actually be able to put it back. Yeah, it has blood and fats. We can just like fix this up and put it back in. Now we are basically losing a bit of money doing this um short term but long term we will actually gain money because the qual overall quality of the graveyard will increase <clears throat> we now have a zero it was minus two before now it's zero uh burial certificates uh sell for 150 one silver and 50 copper Whereas uh, the permission to dig them up costs one silver and 75 so, uh, copper. So basically you lose 25 copper coins. So it is a small deficit, but it's not a lot. And you can actually increase the quality quite a lot by fixing the corpses. So it is in general worth it to like to do but um yeah it depends on like how the corpse looks as well so let's take a look down here i think i can actually make yeah place for burning corpses eight wood billet now i want a trunk here so <clears throat> uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's pick up this. Here we go. Just fixing up that stuff. We have a bunch of glass which we can just shove away. And uh, other than that, I'm not sure what to do.
like this instant. Um, let's take a look here. Is there anything new to build? There should be. Yeah, we have the potter's wheel. Yeah, that that's new. There we go. That should be enough to build it. Potter's wheel. Yeah, we are running out of space, basically. Uh, so we are going to need to, like, fix that by clearing space. Um, 15. Which means I need to make five more. Which means I need more water. Basically all I need is just water. Uh, 15 is I need to make two more to make 20. There we go. <clears throat> that should be enough. There we go that uh shove that away put that in have a bit of food and stuff which should be moved in here Uh, let's go to sleep super quickly. Uh, um, yeah, uh, we'll see what what we can do to progress here a bit. I'm so refreshed. Yeah, we have a lot of class at this point. So we probably not going to need a bunch like a lot more of it uh, for this for the foreseeable future and yeah the donkey does not come uh, if you haven't put carrots into the bin so if the carrot uh, like box down there along the road doesn't have any carrots he won't come Ever until you put carrots in so be aware that you will have to grow carrots you you absolutely have to <clears throat> uh, let's take a look anvil needs four okay Uh, increase yard space. I need complex iron parts, which means I need probably some more tech. Do I know? I actually don't. But I need um, the better anvil. If I... Not wrong. Let's... I, I need to make a lot more uh, iron ingots. I should have more than one furnace, but I don't have any space for it, to be honest. Uh, so, let's see. Flitch, sure. Let's make Flitch. Uh, do we have anything we can do with any... You need to collect the old keeper's diary from the church cellar. And to actually do that, I need to talk to Snake. And to talk to him, I need to convince him by having enough faith, which I don't. So, yeah. We need to cut wood at this point. Uh, 
Here we go. Let's dig this one up. least 12 more flitch i think i said i needed 20 which i have exactly which means i should probably get slightly more Should have one extra log in case I No, I actually didn't press a second time, but sure whatever. And here we go, we have twenty of those. And uh, now we need iron to make uh, simple iron parts and nails. So let's Put that away at this point to be honest because yeah let's see here what do we have we have we can actually make stone repair kit but i don't think we want to do that and i think we should Try to do some stuff down here. Now let's take a look at this one. Uh, all right, you actually need the beam. Okay. Uh, we don't have any signs. Absolutely none. What? Yeah, and the ruined books can't be salvaged unless we have a desk. Which require flitch and nails, which we can do. So let's... Yeah, we can do it because we have 11 nails. Let's make that one so we can actually do some research and unlocking stuff. Okay, because I think that's one of the things which is holding us back the most at this point. So let's take eight there and then eight. Now, technically the best thing is to try to build all of that stuff all at once and as quick as possible, but if it looks, it's actually better to like build what you can if you can't do them all, the, all at once. So, desk, let's put you like there, you're like, oh right, we actually need some sand over here. Uh, to get the clean paper, right, right. Okay, whatever. Let's just run up here to get some uh, river sand. Uh, 
Uh, here we are. I think two of them should be fine. Having ten should be more than enough. So, <laughs> let's see if we can uh, get some paper from this, put you in there. Don't actually need a lot of... Um, and yes, you do get a tiny amount of uh, blue points, but it's such a small amount that just whatever. Clean paper, right. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Like... Yeah, you want paper. Paper the same as clean paper. I think it is, but it might also not be. No, clean paper is the correct thing. Yeah, it is. It's the correct thing. Now, what I want to do is actually like decompose two of them. Uh, I don't have enough anyway, so let's See if we can get some stuff. Uh, let's do the brain. Because why not? And we get a ton of blue points. That's good. Is there anything else we can do? We can actually do the fat one, so let's do that. And boom, there we go. And we got a ton of uh, blue points. There is a few ways of getting blue points, and uh, this is one of them. Uh, another way is to actually build, like craft certain stuff. But we don't have that on like those recipes unlocked yet, so <clears throat> we can't really do that at the moment. Uh, we should unlock this one and then uh, this one is whatever and we need this one for the flyer, so let's do that one. <clears throat> we have 64. Getting the perk cardinal would be good. Let's do this one, and then uh, Axeman should be, yeah, chopping a small tree can now give you an additional log, also you can make more firewood and wedges from log chunks. Yeah, let's take that one. That's actually really good. Uh, and um, furnace number two, yes please. Would be great if we could get some more blue points, but we might not be able to. Should probably do these two to get the perks. 
Hunting perks is super useful and helpful because they they do give you a lot of bonuses even if it's just in one area they do give you like an overall buff <clears throat> which makes it quite a lot easier doing that thing which then makes it easier to do a bunch of other stuff because that one thing which it helps with is needed in a bunch of other things but let's give him a poor oh they are ugly but they'll be just perfect for the poor people <laughs> oh i am pleased to note you uh, your involvement in the business of the church are missing there but okay uh, I might even consider upgrading your church to a big church. That means more faith and more money. With a big church, it will be closer to God and what's more important to me than His holiness. Than holiness. Uh, but all of this is far in the future. First, everything here has to be as perfect as my haircut. <laughs> and I mean both the church inside and the graveyard outside. Right, I'll do my best to meet your high standards. Speaking of high standards, I'd be so pleased if you could provide me with some fish. It'll save me from uh, starvation. And not just any fish, I need a quality fish fillet. I believe you can find that kind of fish near the waterfall. You mean the town is starving right now? No, I can't eat meat. And as for the fish from the town harbor, well, no thank you. Not with that uh, rotten sh ship of the dead half floating there. So you're my only hope. I think I've started losing my hair on account of my bad diet. Uh, right, so we need to give him some fish. Uh, the church quality so inside the church needs to be a quality 20 and the graveyard needs to be a quality 30. Shouldn't be too hard to get up to that, to be honest. Should be fine. We are at 16, so basically we need to double it and we should be fine. Is there anything I can do to like pretty it up? Like anything uh, we have some time so let's take our time and actually see if we can improve <laughs> a bit <clears throat> because uh, the graveyard quality dictates how much money the visitors give you So it, it is important to, um, oh right, and he actually gives you this one, so let's use that, and there we go. How come I have four? Oh, nine. Oh. Oh my god, I, I almost thought that it just disappeared but okay fine it's fine oh okay <clears throat> yeah we are going to need a lot of blue points so we should try to unlock stuff which will easily give us blue points so i need one more and then we can make the gravestone too and a stone uh, grave fence and the gravestone too gives you it is an easy access to blue points to be honest it is going to suck you dry of um, stone and energy but other than that it is a great source for a uh, great source for um, or some other stuff uh, Okay, whatever. I have 
I have one gravestone. Let's use that. I can make two more. So let's make two more. Let's see if I can... Can I make... I can actually make a root stone repair kit. Uh, I will make four of them. <coughs> Which is good because that means we can actually fix some of the stone stuff here. It's not a lot, but some of them is actually really high quality, which we can't make just yet. So fix... Uh, this is something. The stone stuff you should fix, like this, a stone gray fence too. It's going to take a while and we can, until we can make those. So fix them up, because it is so worth it. There we go, we are up to 21 already. Uh, <clears throat> let's put in some of these. They will improve the quality even more. We need to hurry up a bit. And we are at 27, we need three more to actually, but I don't think we can manage quick enough so let's do this here we go i like to say a few words our church is great nice and now let us pray for this blessing i got two of them and we get <clears throat> two more yeah. And yeah, they give us double the amount than they did before. So since we have almost double the... But the thing is, we need a higher quality in the church to get more people and uh, uh, more faith each and every time. So we got a bit of money. It wasn't a lot, but some. Let's see if we can actually get this up to 30 uh, to get that out of the way. I need to end this episode, but let's see if we can actually do it. Uh, we might be able to, but he might actually just go away. Uh, what I'm going to do is make one of these. And then we should make like two of these. That should be enough to bring it up to 30. Should. Um, because we have one that is damaged and then we have a bunch of stuff which isn't uh, surrounded by... A fence. All oh, right, that actually didn't do anything. Uh, remove. Uh, wasting time, wasting time. Yes. Ooh, I hope the graveyard is meeting the high standards of your holiness. Yes, I'm no longer even disgusted to be here. Now, just maintain it at this level to upgrade the church. Yeah, so we actually got that. That is good. Uh, we are going to have to dig up uh, some of the corpses and fix, fix them or even replace them. Um, see if we can... <clears throat> what we want to do uh, 
Uh, what we want to do is try to fix... Um, like, below the church and like build up all the stuff that uh, we need. Uh, we need pigskin, but for that we actually need to like build stuff. Yeah, thanks to the perk we actually uh, get more uh, wood from each and every <coughs> uh, time. But we need to make two of them to actually get like 30 to get even, so. But with that, I'm going to do just while sleeping in this episode. So, <clears throat> sorry. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.